What up folks, welcome back to Ultrazilla Toys, and this is another front-facing box art nerd. Um, gonna film two here in this session, so bear with me, I am, you know, as you've seen in organizing, there's a lot of uh, stuff going on here, so right now there's a bunch of stuff on my desk, so that's where my camera is on, so I just flipped it, and I'm gonna do some box art nerd here for the next couple of weeks worth. Um, of episodes. So first we got Son Goku from SH Figuart, the Awakening version. This is a really nice product shot. I really like the way this looks. Um, it's pretty cool. Like a really dynamic shot there. And I like the, the you know the black and white version in the back. That looks really nice. The, I love the way Figuart's prints on their boxes. Those are really cool. On the side you got continuation of the box, which is awesome, like done in like panel style. A close up, a fist, some effect part there, really really nice. Continues on the top as well. Uh, on the side it just says, you know, same thing, just smaller type, really dig that. And then usual array of product shots, but I do like the way Goku is sitting here in front of these two panels. That looks great. So, and I like the grays there, you know. That's really, really nice looking. So, a, a nice box by Figuarts, one of the better ones that I've seen recently. Looks really good. So, that's very nice. Next, we have 1000 Toys um, Synthetic Human Box. This is a really slick looking box. You see the, the print on the box, that's like kind of embossed there. Glossy, looks really good uh, against the rest of the matte of the box, that's nice. Two different blacks there, really cool. Like their logo a lot. So nice shot there of the synthetic human. On the side here, it just says, you know, synthetic human, blah, blah, blah. Same thing on the other side, uh, which looks good. Uh, and on this side, you got uh, a standing shot, just the matte surface there. And this is the outer box, so then you take that off on the back. Uh, all you got is like a lot of type that I can't understand, unfortunately, but it looks good. It's well placed, nice and big and bold. On the side you got whatever that says, same thing there. Um, really nothing much on the, box, on the bottom, and there you would have the window where the synthetic human would be sitting. So, very cool box there. Um, the next two I'll bring up together. I've never shown the box with a rock. So here's a rock in Stone Cold, uh, the WWE. At least I don't think I have. If I have, I'm really sorry. Um, but I, I like the way these boxes turn out. You know, nice shots there of the figure. I like the blues on this one, on the Stone Cold one. I like the way Stone Cold Steve Austin is written. Very stone. More shots continuing onto this side. You know, a lot of cool stuff going on there. Austin 316, Stunner, Texas Rattlesnake. It's okay, you know, like, <laughs> I'd probably have done it a little bit different, but I do appreciate that Stone Cold's kind of going over the Austin 316 just a bit. Maybe a little bit more would have been better. Here he is, you know, a, with the type in front of him. I do dig that, I always like stuff like that. So, not so bad. Steve Austin there. Stone Cold Steve Austin there. There's a shot of his face there. The rock is, you know, same same layout, but done in red. As you can see. Same stuff. See, I, I like the way the rock here... I don't think I've gone over this. The rock is uh, going over the Bring It. That looks really nice. Um, as well as giving the rock bottom there to Stone Cold. So... I think this fare is a little bit better than the Steve Austin one. Plan on getting the Triple H soon. Um, I was thinking about clicking it on. Um, it's at like 47 bucks right now on Amazon, but you could do better, Amazon. Make it even less. <laughs> Next, uh, we have this Robot Spirits, uh, whatever this is called, Kujin Maru. Fusion Maru, yeah, it's number seven, 172, uh, it was this bird guy that I got, 
with the Son Goku when I got it. Very cool. This is a typical Robot Spirits box. You know, but I like this right here. That looks good. It's kind of like a swoosh thing going on. All around some circular thing. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but it looks really nice. Shot of the, the toy here. On the top you just got, you know, Robot Spirits, Kujimaru, all that. Shot of the figure there. Nothing really going on on the bottom. Product shots on the back, standard. Nothing really crazy on this one. So, there's that. Looks alright. Next, we got this Wei Zhang Robot Force. What's he called? Detective? I forget what he's called right now. But the Hound. From the movie Hound. This is a beautiful box. Love this. Love Wei Zhang. And I love their attention to detail in their boxes. Look at that piece of art. It's, it's signed here by Black Apple, the designer. Look at that shot. Oh my god. Beautiful piece of art. Glossy on, on a matte box. Beautiful. I love this. Holographic. Very nice M02. And Wei Zhang is also done in that type of foil. Really nice. Nice shot there of the figure. Over here, it's showing you you can take off his helmet, which is kind of interesting. On this side, they got ro Robot Force done nice there. Some shots of the figure, glossy as well. Really cool. And then all, uh, all the crazy amount of weapons he comes with. You know, the figure there. Nothing really on the bottom. And this opens up, I believe. Let me see. I think there's more, more to look at in this one. If I can remember how to open it up. Just like this. Uh, well, I, not really, but it is MO2 Detective. I did I just wanted to show you that they even print on their um, styrofoam here. So, very cool. It says fly. Fly Fight Detective M02. And boy, it still stinks in here. <laughs> Woo -wee. Stinky, stinky box. How do I put this back? Oops. I like this. There we go. So, beautiful box. I really like it. This piece of art really wins. So, very nice. And I'm gonna cut it there, guys. Um, well, my last one was a little long, so this one just a little bit shorter. I think my next one, the next pile, uh, see this was all like import stuff. And the uh, the next pile is not. Actually, one second. Did I? I just realized I had this guy uh, from Q-Ranger. And I don't know if I ever did this. So I'm going to do this again, guys. If you've seen this one, please. And there we go. We're going to be a normal sized episode. This was the only one that I was unsure of. And I hadn't checked out to see. But since the, all the rest of the boxes that I'm going to review in the next um, episode is all like domestic stuff. I'd, you know, rather look at it now. Very cool. The latest Super Sentai. So, very nice shot. Unusual craziness on their boxes. All their Super Sentai boxes are absolutely bonkers. There you go, you see the Rangers there with their Voyagers. More Rangers there. Very nice. This box just pops, I really love the colors on it. And I love the, the starry background, it's really nice. Very, very cool. There's a lot of little swooshes and line work going on. There you see the Megazord there. I forget his name with the Rangers in front. Uh, da, 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 da. Does it say in English over here? It actually says in English, which I feel like of all the individual Zords, I feel that's interesting. But then again, Van I'm America designers helped design this one, so pretty cool. Standard product shots on the back. It's actually kind of tame, the back. So, pretty cool. Lots of product shots. Lots and lots of stuff to take in. Um, but a nice box. Yeah, I, you know, the more I do this box, the more I think I, I never did it. 
So, there you go. Looks good. Looks really good. I like it. Alright, and that's it, guys. Whoop. <laughs> Thanks for, uh... I'll sign off with this guy on my lap. Thanks for watching, and, uh, until next time, peace out, peeps.